Hey guys, welcome back to Perfume Vegas. I'm Holly Go Lightly, and as you can see, I'm filming two videos in the same time frame. Um, if the other video, which is my five favorite winter Indian fragrances, is not up, you'll see it later. But yeah, we're doing those the same time. Today's video, I had a lot of fun with. Um, so let me briefly explain the premise and then we'll get into it. I watch, I've been watching a ton of Netflix during this lockdown period and I figured because I am, I have different, a little bit different taste in TV and movies than I think, um, a lot of other people. Uh, so I thought I would recommend some of my favorite Netflix TV shows and movies for you and pair them with a perfect perfume partner. If you're interested in hearing my picks, just stay tuned. Okay. I am so strategically perched on my bed. That's why you hear it creaking. Not exactly the best way of filming, but it's the easiest for me right now. So the Netflix shows and movies I've picked are mostly foreign films because I prefer um, foreign films. But there are a few that I think are more well known than others. And then there's also a few documentaries, <laughs> some Bollywood. <laughs> um, but you know what? No buts. I'm just going to get started. So the, f so, okay. I'm going to do a movie and then a TV show and then a movie and a TV show. Um, like I said before, most of these are foreign films, so, or foreign TV shows. Um, so I apologize for that if you don't like subtitles. Uh, but if you don't mind and you want to expand your current, like, repertoire of film or TV, there's a lot of different genres and they're all really, really good shows. So the first one I have is a movie. It is a Spanish a Spanish language movie. I believe it is set in Spain um, and it's called Our Lovers. And the premise of the movie is that this former couple breaks up, but as they keep running across each other with their new significant others, they end up falling back into love. Um, it's sweet. It's romantic, it's super funny, um, and there's some great side characters, and just in general, it's got a beautiful feel-good, uh, like, like a, it's like a feel-good romantic movie. Um, it has a happy ending, the main story does have a happy ending, um, and all over, it's just a really sweet well done romantic comedy sort of movie. Um, so for our lovers to watch while you're, or to wear while you're watching, I chose Coco Woods from Nest because this is cozy, it's sweet, it's comfortable. And if you're with someone, it'll definitely make them want to cuddle up. So perfect pairing for a really easy to watch romance film. The next one is a TV show and I actually had a bunch of TV shows listed and I ended up cutting a few of them out but I might mention them without perfume at the end if um, there's time just because I think they're worth recommendation. But the first TV show is called Giri Haji. Giri Haji is a Japanese film, but it's British based. So it's in both Japanese and English. But the premise is of a Japanese um, investigator, law enforcement investigator, uh, has to travel to 
Britain to determine whether his previously assumed brother or his previously assumed dead brother is in fact alive and if he needs to be um, arrested essentially for crimes that he may have committed. And in the background, there's like a tangled web of the Yakuza, the British intelligence agencies, um, family drama. It's Giri Haji means duty and shame. And so it's a really, it's a, like a really intense psychological drama thriller type of show that's playing on the feelings of this man's um, duty to his job as an investigator and the shame of the feelings that he has towards his brother who has been involved in these nefarious activities. It's super super compelling. Um, unfortunately, I literally just found out that it was not renewed for a second season, um, which is always kind of a bummer when things end, like, with questions still unanswered, but it's still worth the watch, especially if you want something that's a little bit more intellectual, if you want something that's going to keep you on the edge of your seat, if you want to, like, binge, like, a, an entire series in one night, or if maybe you're, like, doing a watch party and want something that's outside of the normal, Giri Haji on Netflix is definitely good for um, breaking up your, maybe your routine of what you watch. It did that for me. Like I would never have picked it if somebody hadn't recommended it to me. And then I was like, oh my God. So for Kirihashi, I chose the fragrance Squid. I chose the fragrance Squid from Zoologist. Um, the reason that I chose this is because first of all, I feel like um, when I think about Japan and Japanese culture, seafood is very uh, intrinsically linked to that and it did have a dualistic type of feel or does have a dualistic type of feel to it. Um, and to me, duty and shame is sort of represented in the scent of squid. There is the idea that um, the giri, the duty, is that depth that's in the fragrance, and the haji, shame, is the sort of um, more mineral elements. So for giri haji to wear, especially if you're wearing like during a watch party or something and you want to really get in the mood, um, I chose squid from Zoologist. I just realized I've literally never seen this like in the light before. <laughs> it's like super fascinated. <laughs> All right, the next one is going to be a movie and it is the movie Budapest. <laughs> this is a French film, um, a Netflix original French film, and it is hilarious. This is a kind of guy's toilet humor, potty humor, guy's, um, adventure sort of film. If you can think of things like, um, like National Lampoon movies, that type of like guy toilet humor sort of thing. But in this movie, there's that element, but then there's also definitely a strong female comedic element as well. And so I think it's really balanced for a date or if you want to watch as a group, like a mixed group, again, for like a watch party or something like that. Um, it's funny. It's like <laughs> laugh out loud funny. Um, but it also has like a really quick pace. You're not going to feel like it's dragging out and it has a really satisfying ending that is like chef's kiss. Um, one of the actors in Budapest is also in uh, Jonathan Cohen is a French actor. I think he's of Middle Eastern descent um, and I just love him. I love his work. I think he's super hot and I love his work and I love the films and movies that I've seen him in. Anyway, um, for Budapest, oh, I didn't tell you the plot. Um, the plot is, is these guys who are failing or are unhappy at their current business decide to start their own travel agency setting up 
um, extreme bachelor parties in Budapest. So they start this business, they get a bunch of loans like from their wives and girlfriends and they don't tell them what they're up to and it's like a whole comedic caper. There's like parts of the video or there's parts of the movie where they're in like brothels and crazy clubs. There's one point where they're like shooting at a shooting range or they're driving tanks. Like it's insane. Um, and yeah, they s s do this business and it, um, definitely goes sideways, but it all comes back and has a really fun ending. So what the fragrance that I chose for Budapest is Alien by Terry McGlair because I didn't think there was another fragrance that could capture the essence of letting loose wild neon lights, crazy adventures, and just hold it in a fragrance form better than Alien. Um, it, it does feel like you know, if you're going to these places, like these really amazing destinations and doing crazy things, that it is almost from another world. And so that's why Alien from Terry McGlair was my pairing choice to wear while you watch Budapest on Netflix. The next TV show is called The Hookup Plan. It's another French television show. It's another sort of like modern sort of like um, I would say modern comedy, some more traditional kind of places. Um, this sort of risque, raunchy type of humor didn't catch on as quickly. Um, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm speculating just based on my own experiences. Um, on Netflix and their foreign films and TV shows, it feels like it's a real breath of fresh air compared to American style um, of these like sort of raunchy romantic kind of comedies or toilet humor type of things. But The Hookup Plan is a really funny TV show. There is actually two seasons and it is about a girl who is broken up with or she breaks up with I'm not sure her total like overbearing boyfriend but the problem is is that like her friend group like they're very very like tight-knit and he's part of it so she's forced to see him all the time and she decides or her friends actually decide to set her up with a male stripper um but they don't tell her that he's a stripper and then hijinks ensue it's super funny there's a lot of things that are really funny there's a lot of elements, especially in the second season, that are really kind of like heart hurting, but like you know that it's like real. It's like reality. It's like this would happen in reality. Like reality is not perfect. And I love that about foreign films is that they don't try to gloss over the things about life that aren't perfect. French films and TV I've noticed do it really well. Spanish films and TV I've noticed do it really well. Uh, German and sort of the Nordic countries tend to be a little bit on the opposite where they like kind of go the opposite direction. But I really like Italian, Spanish and French um, media because they do a really good balance between what is reality and what is also the fun and fantasy. So the hookup plan my selection to wear if you decided to wear, watch this on your own, maybe you've had a breakup or you want to watch with girlfriends, again, do a watch party or have a few close girlfriends over. I have Bath and Body Works Spray Body Mist in Pink Chiffon. This is literally the perfect fragrance for someone who wants to smell pretty, who wants to perk themselves up, who wants to maybe think that their scent is out there like reeling in guys. It's just sweet and beautiful. It's floral, but not too floral. It's kind of sugary, but not too sugary. It's a grown up kind of pink sugar type of smell. And I think it's perfect for, I think it's perfect for a lot of occasions. But when you're watching like a fun, like romantic where people are, you know, going in and out of relationships and there's drama, but there's also comedy and romance. Come on, this is perfect. 
and it's so inexpensive. You can buy this online from Bath and Body Works website if um, you don't own it, uh, but you can also get it usually during their semi-annual sale when they bring back um, old favorites. So pink chiffon from Bath and Body Works, um, body mist, body lotion, whatever you want to wear, however form you want to wear it, I should say, for the hookup plan. We're going back to movies, and this is a well-known documentary film, um, but if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it that you do. It's called What the Health, and it is a documentary film that looks at the way our food is created and consumed in America and ways that we could do better. Um, when I watched it for the first time, I went full vegetarian and I also did, um, part, like I did as much vegan as I could. And I was, I stayed that way for like four years. So this, it's a really moving look at how we consume our food in America. Um, so I'm not going to get into it and like, I'm not going to get, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get like deep, deep into it because there's just so much information, but because of the subject matter and because it's a documentary, um, you may not be like watching, um, just for the fun of it. You may be with a group and then to stick with the topic, which is being more clean and more environmentally friendly, I chose Pop by Stella McCartney. And in case you didn't know, Stella McCartney actually uses a, um, a clean way of harvesting the, um, the fragrance compounds from the ingredients that they use when they make all of their fragrances. And Stella McCartney fragrances are both cruelty-free and vegan. So this is the perfect scent in the idea of being a considerate consumer and it also just smells very fresh and pleasant it has a sort of bubblegum white floral fragrance but it's not a heavy fragrance at all um it's really inexpensive right now online easy to find and it is still in production there's also pop bluebell if you prefer something not as gummy white floral and something a little bit more actual floral floral but for me this fragrance is a definite winner it can be worn year round and would make a great pairing if you were going to sit down with family or with a significant other and watch a documentary like this so that was Stella Pop for what the health to going back to TV now to TV my absolute number one favorite show on Netflix. It is my favorite show on Netflix. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. I absolutely love this show. And I think that it's vastly, vastly, vastly underrated. I don't hear anyone talking about it. Um, they have two seasons. I believe they have a third season coming. I have not heard anything to contradict that. So definitely if you wanted to catch up, now is the time. It is called Diablero on Netflix. It is a Mexican television show, but it isn't a soap. It isn't um, a telenovela. It is a true like plot driven TV show. And what it is, is there are, um, well, it talks about that angels left the world to the devil. And so the devil sent his demons out and it was up to humans, certain humans, religious humans, and also these shamanic type of warriors called diableros to fight the demons. And the demons, um, they go, they come in categories and there's just a whole mythology. Um, this, the story itself centers around a Diablero, his sister, a Centuria, um, Bruja and a priest who are looking for a missing girl. And there's also a, um, a fourth person who is a container, a vessel for demons. Um, she's a very powerful container for, for demons. Um, it's based on a, uh, it is based on a comic strip 
written by a Mexican author. And I love it because not only is it fun, it's fast paced, the storyline is great, the actors are amazing, but they also incorporate a lot of indigenous Mexican culture and spirituality type of things into the storylines. So it's just a beautiful, it's like, it's beautifully done. Um, and it's really well written. It's really funny. So the, and the lead actor, Horacio Garcia Rojas, oh, that man is beautiful. I mean, if you want eye candy, <laughs> there's eye candy. There's also another really popular Mexican actor named Christopher Von Uckerman. He's been in a lot of Mexican, um, Netflix programs. So you're definitely, you're not going to hurt men or women. You're not hurting for eye candy action, there's romance, there's familial drama, like it has everything. And then the spiritual like stuff on top of it. If you were a fan of Buffy, if you were ever a fan of things like, um, like the Sabrina show on Netflix, anything like that, you have to watch, you just have to. And now that I've spent like five minutes rambling about this show, um, I'll tell you my perfume pairing that you should totally wear. I chose Nirvana Rose. So there was an entire really like I have a whole reason. I chose Nirvana Rose because this to me is very much like a Catholic church type of rose. It's a little bit more definitely a little bit more of a jammy rose than church rose, but it has that same incensey church rose fragrance. And one of the characters is a priest, a uh, Catholic priest. And so for that element playing in with the spicy, like all of the earthy parts of the show, um, I just thought Nirvana, uh, Nirvana Rose from Elizabeth and James worked perfectly. For Diablero, my all time favorite Netflix show, Go watch it if you don't. There should be a third season coming in January. So go. And then moving on to the fourth movie is a Bollywood film and it's called Kupsarat. And it is such a classic type of romance. First of all, it's very Bollywood. It's super, super, I think it's like one of the highest, highest ranking Bollywood films um, but it's about a girl, a commoner. She's a, um, sports physician or, um, something like that. I'm not sure of the word, but she's hired by the palace of a king to come and help him regain his strength in his legs after an accident and ends up falling in love with the king's son. And of course there's like class and all these things that are working against them, but it's Bollywood. So it has a perfect fairy tale ending, which is why I love Bollywood. Things never go wrong in Bollywood movies. Like, I mean, they do, but you know it's going to be okay. And that, I, sometimes I just need that. And Kupsara is just, it's probably one of the more high, like, quality, quality-wise, it's probably one of the more um, high level. And also plot, the way it was, the writing and the acting and the plot is really, really good. Sometimes they're a little bit loose, <laughs> to say the least, but this one is so good. So if, even if you don't like Bollywood, if you want to be introduced to Bollywood, Coop Sarat is a perfect choice. And I will write the names of everything down below because I may be butchering things. The pairing I chose, fragrance pairing, is Cartier Biasavoy. And this particular fragrance to me well, first of all, it is like the name Visa Vola is like it's stolen kiss. Obviously, I, I don't speak French, um, but that's what's like that's the element of the movie is the idea of like the stolen kiss, this kind of clandestine romance that no one wants to talk about and reveal, that nobody even wants to acknowledge because it's like if you pop that bubble, then everything falls apart. So if you really want to get in a 
flirty, fun, romantic mood to watch a flirty, fun, romantic Bollywood movie. Cartier Bisavola from Cartier Bisavola for pairing with Kusra. For the next TV show, I have another one of my favorites. You may have seen me talking about it on um, Instagram, but it is a Spanish TV show that is set on board a ship in the 1950s that is going from Spain to Brazil or yeah it's going from Spain to Brazil and then in the second season it's going from Brazil to I'm gonna say Brazil it's going from Spain to Brazil and then the second season it's going from Brazil to um but maybe it's going from Rio de Janeiro to a different port I think like both seasons are set on board the same ship. There's so much mystery. There's drama. There's romance. There's heartbreaking things that happen. And then there's like jaw dropping like, oh, what? Like twists and turns. It's a, such a good, it's like a mystery show. It's Clue, basically. It's Clue set on a, a Spanish ship in the 1950s. Plus, it has gorgeous, gorgeous guys, gorgeous girls, so you're not hurting for eye candy at all. And the romance and the tension, it's all just so amazing. It deals with Nazis, it deals with spies, it deals with theft of money. It's just, oh, so much so much so if you want something to entertain you again watch party with friends or even just to kick out your night where you want to like binge watch something check out high seas altamar on netflix the fragrance i chose for this pairing is orange bitters from joe malone and the reason i chose this was because this has a very soft vintage feel to it. It definitely feels like something that um, is both modern and vintage at the same time without smelling like a vintage fragrance. And I could absolutely, I could absolutely imagine somebody wearing this on a 50s um, liner uh, ship. So as they cruise, you know, through the seas. So absolutely, uh, Joe Malone, <laughs> Joe Malone orange bitters if you want to feel like you could be there. The last movie choice is another Bollywood movie, but this one's tone is quite different than the previous one. I believe this is a Netflix, um, that this is actually a Netflix movie. So, um, I don't know if it's still classified as Bollywood, but it's called Chopsticks. And if I, I'm not 100% sure why it's named that, to be honest. I don't know if I ever really figured it out or if I've just forgotten because it's been um, a few months since I watched it. But essentially, it is a girl in India who has gotten a promotion. She's graduated from college. She's got her job and she buys her first car, which is then stolen. <laughs> and it's a lot of hijinks getting her stolen vehicle. Um, there's a goat, <laughs> an amorous goat. There's a crazy, um, like gang leader type, type of guy, not crazy, like, ah, crazy, but like crazy, like, oh, crazy. Um, there's a eccentric, um, recovery agent. Uh, it's just, it's got all of these really weird elements, but the story is so moving that at the end of the movie, I was like in tears. It was not, I don't know if it's meant to be a sad or emotional film, but it came through that way for me. But the story itself is just really good. It's, it's not exactly the most, um, sensical storyline but it's worth watching because it's got some really good like advice and lessons in it and the pairing that i chose for chopsticks bath and body works 
Forever Red, the old version of Forever Red. I know that they have brought it out again in the signature line, but this was a, um, a perfume that was produced. Um, so I don't know if they're exactly the same now as they used to be, but the reason I chose this was because it's very, first of all, it's not like an offensive type of fragrance, but it's different. It's unique. Um, it's one of the first fragrances to, um, use Osmanthus in, um, a, a specific type of way that, uh, was not commonly used for more affordable fragrances at the time. And it's got just something spicy, something a little different, something a little quirky about it while still being affordable. So I thought that with the elements of this, this girl who was really trying to like learn life lessons, or not trying to learn life lessons, being forced to learn life lessons, and the quirkiness of the cast of characters that Bath & Body Works Forever Red went really well with Chopsticks on Netflix. And the last one is a television show that I hesitated to, um, that I hesitated to include in here. I had the, I had the shows, um, Insatiable, which you should check out. I had The Fabulous Lives of Bollywood Wives, which is a great, more wholesome take on the Real Housewives sort of franchise. And in the end, I took those off. Those were the runner up. I took those off and I went with Messiah. Messiah was released about a year ago, a little bit over a year ago now on Netflix, and it caused a lot of controversy. Mainly because two things. One, you have a person in a role claiming to be Jesus Christ, which doesn't go over with a lot of different religions for different reasons. But you also had a very um, cynical look at the Middle East, as well as the way that Middle Easterners were treated in other countries in the Middle East. So it got a lot of backlash from a lot of different people. Um, I don't know if they're making a second season. I haven't heard specifically that they're not, but I haven't looked in a while. Um, but I think that if they chose to cave to, um, the criticism and not make a second season because of that, that would be really doing the subject matter a disservice. Um, it's a very intense show. Um, it's a very soul searching show. It's a program. It's every episode of that show Messiah makes you look at the things you believe about religion and question them. I didn't find it to be particularly negative feeling towards any Middle Eastern countries um, or Middle Eastern religions. I didn't particularly notice that but because I'm not from those areas or of those religions that may be just something that I wouldn't understand. Um, but what I did notice was how quickly, um, American Christians were represented to accept this person who was just calling themselves Jesus, you know, and that he was doing things that people couldn't, shouldn't be able to do. And people were freaking just insane and it felt very like it felt very reminiscent of activity in America at the time around the like Trump cult like the cult of Trumpism um yeah I shouldn't say the Trump cult like the cult of personality that is surrounds President Trump um And then 
right at the right at the point in the show where I had finally convinced myself that like along with the main one of the main characters uh, along with one of the main characters I had convinced myself that you know this guy's a fraud like he's totally totally using people for money for personal gain he's He's, he's a total fraud. He's a con artist. And then something happens at the end of the season and you're just like... <sighs> it turns everything on its head. It's so tightly crafted that I can't even imagine. Like, whoever... I mean, obviously you can find out who wrote it, but the creators, the writers, the way that this has was made, the actors everything about this I think putting aside any personal biases or criticisms you have about the subject matter and just watching it as it is is it's an amazing piece of of television of television work it's amazing so for Messiah I chose Police original, which may seem like a really strange kind of letdown, but this to me is so it's it's almost ambiguous. Like this, first of all, not only does this feel like something that a person like the person who called themselves the Messiah in this show might wear because it's so it it gets in and you know that that's who this is but it's not ever outstanding like it's not making its presence known it's very very subliminal it has a feeling of being unique as well as being totally one in a like in the crowd crowd of millions i can't describe how the word you know i can't describe it how i want to but police original this just felt right so that was my pick for messiah on netflix those were my 10 tv and movie recommendations if you're gonna do a netflix if you're gonna do a netflix watch party if you're going to just binge watch something if you need something new if you're tired of the same old if you want something different if you want to dip your toe in foreign films or tv and you're not sure where to start um there's so many other great ones um family business is another great french film uh french tv show um um, Black Spot, um, Zone Blanche is another great French TV show that's not a comedy. It's a very serious kind of psychological thriller. There's so many good things I, I could have picked, but I had to try to hold it back. This video is probably so long. Make sure you go check out the uh, giveaway. If it's not closed yet, I'll link it below. If it's closed, I won't link it. If it's still running, I'll link it. Um, and join that if you haven't gotten a chance already. Leave your Instagram handle. Um, like this video if you appreciate... <laughs> long video um subscribe for more content perfume content television netflix content whatever um hit the notification bell so that you know the next time i upload because it may not be for a little while now um i'm not sure where we're going here but it may still be maybe for a, uh, like a, a week or two um, and anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these picks and I hope that you found this video entertaining, useful, you know, just had a good time. I will see you again on the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.